in this video what i'm going to be teaching you is how to create this today inside of canva so don't go anywhere and let's jump straight into it Hello everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to this channel makes you an OG. And if you're an OG showing up again, look, massive salute to you. I really appreciate you for your continuous support. So I think the next thing is just having to jump straight into Canva. Here we are in Canva and the first thing, you know, as you can see, very beautiful, very easy. All I'm simply going to do is to press the plus OK icon and I have this grids or guides. So if you also want to see them, you can just come into file, come into view settings and you can show um, add guide or log guide. I think I can just take them off. OK, so I come here again and um, I'll just declare guides. OK, so this is the color code. So I'll just come into my color and the color code is I don't know what the color code is but i think i use a gradient okay so the first color is 70e2d2 and the second color is b2ece6 okay so yeah that is what we did now after you've done the thumb into element in element what we're simply going to do is to search for ray okay so just search for ray and you should see all of these options now you select this particular one the yellow one over here okay have it in here come to the color and customize the color change it to white increase the size and what we are going to do next is to come into transparency and reduce the transparency to maybe 10 percent okay which is something cool we are not making it compete for attention in this case and that's why we reduce it drastically to 10 percent all right so now that you've done that the next thing i need you to do is to go into your photos in photos just make sure you're searching for any child so you can just come here and search for happy child okay and you should see a lot of options inside of canva so we can see so many options popping up choose the one you want and this is the one i went in for it's a pro image in canva so just in case you're on the free version of canva and you'd love to use some pro images in canva there's a link i have in the description box below that should help you switch to canva pro okay so just check it out so to Canva Pro for free you don't have to pay for anything so that's what I have for you and the second thing I want to say is please wait to the end of this video because there's something I have to tell you all right don't go anywhere okay so I will just come into my edit photo and I'll come to BG remover and in this case if you are also on the free version of Canva and you're not on the pro version there are two options the first one is for you to switch to Canva Pro with the link the second one is to go to maybe BG remover and you know use that to remove the, the background image of your photo what am i even saying but you get what i mean yeah so the image or the background has been removed we just crop it nicely and i want the image to be so big so i will copy this way and make it bigger you can see and i always love to make my design look bigger so that i can focus on things well so looking at this you can see there are so many things happening especially with light and all of that so that's what we are going to be doing but before we even get into it what we are going to do next is to add our text okay so that we can now focus on the extra element okay so let's do that right now all right so press t on your keyboard for text and you can see the name of the text you are using is well fleet okay so i just say happy okay and i will drop it down and duplicate it you can say children okay or you can so child rain okay then the last one is day okay so d-a-y happy happy day okay so what we want to do now is to select all the text and how you select it is that you press and hold shift while you select all the text okay you come into position and click on center okay so once you've done that you want to make sure you are customizing the colors so the colors we use the yellow and we use the red okay and the, the red i picked it from her dress so make sure that with any image you are using you are picking certain colors from the attire or make sure some of the colors are coming out from your image so that it makes everything blend nicely all right all right okay so i click on color and the day okay come into my color and i'll choose the yellow with the children i'll choose the red like i did now what we are going to do is we are going to come into effect okay and in effect we choose the outline the color of the outline is going to be white okay and with the thickness we are just going to increase it bombastically all right so this is what we have over here we come to the day we are going to do the same thing for it or you can even choose all of them together and apply the same effect to it so let's do it together okay so select all your text okay come to effect come to outline choose the color to white okay and you are going to increase it bombastically okay because uh the reason why i'm saying bombastical is there's this song that just came in mind mr bombastic mr fantastic you know that song
<laughs> yeah. So I put this here and I put this here and I'll select this. Okay, come to effect again. Scroll down. You should see curve. Okay, don't curve it too much. Just curve it slightly. Okay, so yeah, something like this. I didn't even check the curve 23. So I just do this. Also, I come into curve and I can maybe choose negative 23. I think it should work. I think so. Yeah, and I bring it to the top over here. So you can see what we've been able to do. But in this case, I don't want any part of the dress. I like I want everything to be covered with the white as much as possible. I put it here. You can see what we have at the moment. Very, very beautiful. So now that we've done this, the next thing we are going to do is to add the lights. Okay, so you can see there were a lot of light in there. That's what we are going to be focusing on now. And before we get into that, I'll need you to go to the element.theafricangeeks.com and over there just search for lights. Okay, you would see a particular light I'm about to show you. Okay, so just download it, upload it in Canva, and we'll continue from there. Alright, so I'll just go into my uploads because I already have it in here and I'll scroll down so I find the light so you can see we have the light over here and one thing I'll just love to say is why don't you consider subscribing to this channel just to support the video and if you haven't already hit on the like button I think maybe doing it right now would be something nice because this is one of the ways you can just let me know you are supporting this channel okay so maybe you can consider liking and subscribing as well because I'd love to see you in my next tutorial all right all right so we have this over here we'll come into photos in photos we are going to go into dual tone okay so select dual tone come into custom and we are going to choose white for both lights okay so for the highlight and the shadows so with the highlight it focuses on the brighter part of your element or your photo and the shadows also focuses on the darker part of it so that's what we are doing now so you can see we have it in here so i'll just maybe duplicate it first and move it down here and i'll make this one bigger select it make it bigger and the last thing we'll do is to come into edit photo and come into blur so we'll add some blurriness to it something slight maybe 40 to 42 percent okay yeah so 42 percent then i will come in here and send it to the back okay duplicate it bring it down here send it to the back again so you can see what we are doing you can maybe if you don't overdo it that's one of the things make sure you're not overdoing it and we can position this one also over here and we'll send it to the back so this is how it's looking at the moment i think it's looking much better right now then the other thing we want to do is to select it again okay the same light come into our um edit photo then make sure you're going into dual tone okay and i'm going to search for i'm going to add the amber okay which is very nice and maybe i'll add some blurriness to it so i'll go back and go into blur and make it blur a little bit right all right then i can put this here it should just be behind my text okay then i can duplicate it maybe also position it somewhere here all right and maybe position not position duplicate it and i can also position it somewhere here so behind my text behind my image sorry so you can see what we are doing over here now i think we've had enough of all of that so the next thing we are going to do is to add no extra elements so we'll start with the clouds okay so come into your element in element search for clouds okay so we have some clouds over here and maybe let me make it plural clouds okay so that we go into graphics and then graphics we have a few ones over here we don't want that cloud because we are trying to send out happiness and joy so we would rather want to change the color to white okay duplicate it position over here and i think it's cool you can just to make sure it's not looking the same you can just flip it just to add some dynamic stuff to it then come back into element search for cloud again okay and you can add some single cloud in here okay so i'll make this smaller position this here duplicate position this also over yeah, so we have something like this and what i'll need to do is i will just bring this down here okay and rather maybe crop this image okay so something like this then i duplicate this and bring it wire because i would want the white to be on top okay so i would send it backward uh -huh, so that it looks beautiful like this okay nice 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 i think i love what i am seeing already so this is what we did over here and the last two things you need to do is to add this grass okay so come into element and search for grass okay and you should see a lot of grass so come to see all and there are a number of them so just make sure you're choosing the one that makes sense okay so i will choose um this one i think i don't know if it's this i choose but okay i'll just choose this position it down here duplicate it position this over here like that and you can see and we'll duplicate it again and bring this also over here then i hold shift and select all of them and use ctrl g to group them all together all right then one thing we would also want to do and one thing we would also want to 
to do is to add some circle i can just come here and just see sec okay and you see so many circles you can just select it we'll make a white some to you know, color and change it white okay change it to white i don't know why i'm flopping okay so the white ones you can drop them down here drop another one down here you can you know make the size vary okay so some can be bigger some can be smaller and you can also change the color as well so i can make some of them red duplicate it move it to the top okay, of the game and something like this i think yeah something dynamic just to make it beautiful then we would want to add some extra text okay so i'll just copy this text and this shapes okay copy them and paste them here so i'm sure by now you know what happened to the text how come it's kept so you add your favorite line or whatever you want to add then you come to effect and add the curve to it so negative 14 is how i went about it i'll select all of this plus the image and make it a bit smaller okay so that it's just here so that we can have some extra space in here if you are not sure of the position just come to position and choose center center everything center and center choose the image i'll also center it and you can see what we have at the moment so i think i want to make this white okay white and maybe this can also be white i think i can't change you know, them in box so maybe choose white and come here and choose white for this one last thing is i want to add a certain effect to my shape one last thing is one last thing is i want us to add a certain you know some interesting effect on our text okay so this is what we have to do so press c on your keyboard okay for a shape come to the color and choose white okay make it white then make sure you are going you know clicking on the color again come into gradient and with the second color just change it or adjust it to transparent okay and make sure you are choosing the linear gradient so you want to stretch it out all right and position it on top of your text something like that very interesting you know as you can see and we come to transparency and reduce the transparency to maybe 50 all right all right then we can duplicate this position here if you want okay yeah so this is an, op uh, an optional thing you can add so i will position this one over here this one also over here move it up a little bit and uh, something like that then the last thing i'm going to do is add my logo so with this kindly add your logo and your dates okay so i'll copy and i'll paste it and yeah you can see we have done this beautifully i'll position this somewhere here yeah and yeah this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i hope you enjoyed this video just in case you loved it just let me know in the comment section below and one last thing i wanted to share with you is that you can actually find a lot of my templates and use them for free the link can also be found in the description box below so it's simply canva.com slash p slash the african geek you see all my templates start using them for a project or anything at all you want to use them for the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video